today we're going to be drawing a cartoon dog. We're going to start with some basic circles, ovals, for the head and the body, and then we're going to go in and add more details like legs, tail, eyes, dots if you want, spots, so it looks more like a dog. Before we begin, the first thing I want to do is write your name on the back. Once you've written your name, turn it over, and I want your paper the portrait way, so the tall way. Now we're first going to start with an oval. I'm going to put it a little bit, so here's about halfway my page. I'm going to put it up just a little bit further than that. Pretty big oval. Next, I'm going to do the head. I'm going to start on one side of the oval and on the other. Next, I'm going to do two lines for the neck. We don't want them too close together. We don't want our dog's neck too thin, but we don't want it too thick either. Then we're going to draw a big oval for the body. Now I'm drawing pretty hard, but if I were you, I would draw really lightly until you've got it right. So I'm going to kind of draw this part lightly so I know that it's right. And then once I have it, I can draw darker if I want. Or you can just leave it light. Draw light until you've got it right. A big oval. Next we're going to draw the legs and they're kind of like a half heart. So I'm going to start up kind of near the top of the oval. Half circle. I'm going to go down. Have my leg or my foot go out and then come in and touch the bottom of the oval. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So kind of the other side of the heart diagonal line down, the foot out, and then back in. Next we're going to do the two legs in the front. We're going to start with three lines. One, two, three. And I'm going to erase the bottom of that oval. I'm going to add the paws of my dog. And then kind of make them look more like paws. You can add these lines. Next we're going to add ears. Now if you want to do a different kind of dog than I'm doing, you could do that for ears. If you want to do bigger ears, I'm going to do like that, but if you have an idea to do a different kind of ear, that's all right. I'm going to do kind of big eyes, where this is a cartoon, not meant to be realistic. So two semicircles and some eyelids. lines to the nose, the triangle, mouth, and the tongue. Now it's starting to look more like a dog. I'm going to add the tail as if it's coming up kind of out of body. Now for the collar, we want to make it look like the dog is wearing a collar. So to start, I'm going to do kind of a boat shape, the bottom of the neck, draw straight lines down, 
and then another curved line. And you erase what's ever in that curved line, so any little pencil lines behind it. And then you're going to take your pencil and draw a line from these points to the neck. Kind of arched the other way. And if you want to add some kind of dog tag with the name, you could do that as well. I think I'm going to add spots. Now we're going to draw a horizon line to make it look like our dog is sitting somewhere, somewhere rather than floating. So I'm going to draw a line, pick up my pencil, and then continue it on the other side of the dog. Now you can go and you can add any details. If you want to add a dog house, if you want to add flowers, a sun, clouds, maybe your dog isn't outside but it's somewhere else, you can kind of create your own background. I think I am going to do the dog house. I'll do some flowers. But go ahead and make your own creative choices and add anything kind of fun to the background. Once you are done with the pencil, you're going to go in and you're going to trace all your details with a Sharpie. you're going to do this until your dog, all the pencil lines, have Sharpie. Then if you have time, you can go in and add color to your dog. You could color it either realistically using colors of a real dog, or you could make it up. And if you wanted, you could do a pink and blue dog. It is up to you. You can make your own creative choices.